Seeing the coronavirus pandemic has changed everybody's lives day to day. And for folks with children, they may be noticing some of the biggest changes. Joining us now on the, on the phone to uh, talk about some of this is Dr. Jill West, a psychologist at Oxner. And uh, we have a three and a half year old at home and we have a lot of friends with young kids. And we have noticed a definite change in personality during, during this pandemic. Is that fairly normal? Good morning. Yes, that's that's certainly expected in a high stress situation like this that's impacting all of us. Children are just like adults, right? So when, when we're stressed and when we're having difficulty with things, we go back to kind of lesser behavior. We may skip a meal or skip a workout or um, miss sleep. And kids are doing something similar when they are you know, having more toileting accidents for young, young children or having more temper tantrums or for school age children being more irritable, um, having changes in their sleep or appetite, uh, being more needy, more clingy. Um, and sometimes with teenagers, that means acting out, right? They might be yeah. um, doing things that are kind of against the rules. So we we do we definitely expect to see this from children during such a high stress situation. And kids are usually pretty social, and you know, for for young kids, they're missing their friends at daycare or wherever they go, uh, in the neighborhood. For older kids, I mean, teens, it's just hard for them to stay at home. I think that's right. We are inherently social creatures, and even those of us who like being at home and you know are, are quote unquote homebodies. We still need other humans and we need we need interactions. And I think when that's really limited, that alone lets kids know that something's really different. So even if parents have done a really good job of kind of not exposing children to a lot of conversations about the actual virus, they still know something's different. They're not going to daycare or school or they're not seeing their friends and they're not doing their activities and they're not getting together with neighbors to play that that lets kids know that something has changed. And what can we as parents do? I, I know you were saying it's it's really important to keep a schedule, but if both parents are working, I mean, it's tough. Absolutely. That's certainly not a recommendation that's always easy to implement, but it is certainly one of the things that we know kids respond best to. Structure and routine are things that really help children understand that their world is still safe and predictable. So as much of a schedule as can be put in place, even if it's changing on a day-to-day -day basis, if kids can have kind of a heads up at the beginning of a day of what that particular day is going to look like, even if parents are going to work at times they normally wouldn't or staying home at times they normally wouldn't, still good for kids to have kind of an idea of what to expect. And two things to include in that schedule should be some time away from screens so everyone's doing everything virtually right now, which means a lot of face-to-face -face time on computers and tablets and cell phones. But a, a chunk of time during the day that is screen-free is really important and also something physical. So even though okay. kids are kind of cooped up inside, that's a really important recommendation too. And we've got two seconds left and avoid having temper because we're all a little on edge these days. So just try to take a deep breath and think before you yell. That's true. We're all we're all on short fuses. All right, Jill. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. If you have a an issue with your child and want to discuss that with Dr. West, we posted a link to her Oxner webpage. You can read her blogs or request an appointment with her. We have a link on our website, wwltv.com/mornings, and then look for links on four.